Here we go. Bear shapeshifting ruin. There we go. That one worked. That one worked. We're a bear. <laughs> I'm a bear. You're a bear. We're all bears. All right. Let's test. This guy better at least do some damage. What's going on guys? TPF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Dark and Light Shard of Faith. So check it out guys, we've got some things going on today. Uh, things have changed a little bit, we've got a little bit of work done. I recorded a video on this, but I think we're going to kind of skip through it and just show you what's going on now, get you, get you a little more in the now. Check out what we have done with the new base. This is what we're working with now. So we are in a new area. I wish I could show you on a map, but we're playing Dark and Light where maps are a pain in the butt to get. Uh, but we're right next to the outpost. There's an outpost right on top of the hill over there. But check it out. Here's the base. It's starting to look pretty good. We've got the main house area. So I'll show you this in just a second. Uh, we've got the main house area, and then we have the animal pen right here. We built kind of along this little river. There's, Like I said, there's an outpost right up there. Uh, we, just a really good area. This is a, is a perfect area for different ores and stuff like that that we're working with. But you can see we're kind of stilted up on the river right here. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's really, really liking this. So if you guys didn't already know, Pitbull joined us on the server. Pitbull's the one that we play Seven Days to Die and uh, other games with on the channel. You guys have seen him in the past on the channel. He's been helping us out get all this built up. We've got the... So let's go inside and show you. Let's give you a quick house tour. This is the uh, Dark and Light House Flipper Edition here. We'll go inside kind of show you around in here. Storage for days. We're all up on the storage. Uh, we went up top and got a bunch of mithril. So we got mithril for days. All the forges have been going like crazy. They got tons of charcoal, tons of different ore. We need to go ahead and fill them up again before we get rolling today. All right, okay, we got we got food. We've got the fireplace, which can cook stuff, of course, too. We've got the meal table, which if you guys don't know about the meal table, basically you take uh, and put as much as you want on it, and you can actually eat all of it at once, and then you can see all your hunger and stuff like that go way up so it's basically just a way to kind of mass eat things and it's supposed to be a little more nourishing too and then we've got the cooking pot which can cook some other really cool stuff inside of it so not too bad so we got a, quite a few things going there uh, over here we've got the actual workbench we've got our grindstone which is the same as the mortar pestle just the uh, upgraded version of it so always have some things going inside of there uh, of course the workbench you guys have seen so let me show you up top uh, up top is even better. Hopefully everything is going okay with our farm. Yep, there it is. So check it out. The actual farm. We did this inside to keep it safe. But you can see the large crop plots are cruising with mushrooms for days. We're doing really well there. We've got our compost bins up here. So this is kind of Pitbull's area where he's doing his thing. We've got our magic workbench over here. Uh, which we've, I've been making all kinds of stuff on there. He made us a whole bunch of magic essence. And we've been slowly making up some other things so we can do some of the shape-shifting stuff today. So that's what we're working on, some of the shape-shifting stuff. Uh, let's see. In fact, I wanted to go ahead and do, I think, the shape-shifting rune for werewolf. But I don't know if I had the moonstone. I have it back at the old base, but I don't know about this base. Let's see. Let's get out here. All right, so that's that. And then over here, you've got a little walkway that goes uh, right here into the animal pen. And you can get into the animal pen one of three ways. Either you can go out here to the front. you got the front door. Of course, you got the main dino gates uh, or beast gates. And then you have the uh, little entrance on the side over here. So I brought over, or I attempted to bring over, our animals from the other house. It did not go well. I do have the kasha. We still have the kasha. In fact, you got some levels on you, bud? You should have some levels. Eventually, we'll have a saddle for this. All right, wait like crazy. Wow, that was a lot of levels. Okay, so there's there's the Kasha hanging out. Here's our buddy Baloo over here doing things. And then check this out. The Bufo. So we didn't get this tamed up, so I don't have a video on this one just yet. We will have a video on this one pretty soon. But look at this guy. This dude is freaky looking. Well, we've got our first Bufo inside the uh, in the tribe. And like I said, not, not my tame. We'll get one tamed up eventually. All right, I've got a couple goblins, which I tamed up in the last episode. Uh, I mean, you're not missing much. You pretty much shoot them with a few arrows, feed them a little bit of meat, and they tame up really fast. These guys are actually pretty awesome because they do bleeding damage when you take them out and they hit stuff. Uh, so we might take them out later and actually let them attack some things. All right, uh, we've got our elephant. This is the one that Pitbull tamed up. And then we've got our elephant right here that we brought from the house, level 82 now. Is that all your levels? Oh, you got more levels. There we go. Got a lot of weight on these guys, but they gather all kinds. You can see he's got venom and stuff on him because he fought about 10 to 12 different uh, uh, bufos out there. We also have a 
a couple other guys that got lost out there in the swamp area that I couldn't find. I didn't see a death marker or a death uh, note, but they're definitely gone. We did lose our pig. We lost uh, Pumbaa. We do have this guy over here, but yeah, Pumbaa's gone. He didn't make it. We should have been recording. It was actually a lot of fun. The adventure was. Right, and then we got a deer that we literally just tamed up right before the episode started. So there you go. There's kind of what we are working with today. So we wanted to get into some of the shape-shifting stuff, which uh, I know if you guys watched previous Dark and Light, this is the same stuff that's in the base game, uh, in the actual regular Dark and Light, but we did it here because we haven't done it here yet. Uh, so let me grab a couple more things. I think I have some more down here. So you guys already saw the owl shape-shifting, uh, which was probably the most disappointing one so far. Here's some of the things that we've been gathering. All right, uh, I have everything I need other than the moonstone for... Uh, for the werewolf transformation. So we might travel back to base, to the old base, and get the stuff for that. Uh, where I found it was one of these. So we'll keep checking these and see if we get lucky. Let's see. Yeah, you never know. I thought that'd be pretty cool if we got lucky in a video like that. All right, so let's do a couple of the shape-shifting things. They're fairly easy to make. There's a couple things that you need that are a little bit harder to get. Uh, so let's look at the first one. The first one is the elk shapeshift rune. So for this one, uh, you know, I guess we should show you inside the magic bench first so you know what you need to actually create it. It's fairly simple. I mean, most of the stuff is just you unlock it and then you watch for the ingredients. If there's anything special, I'll kind of let you know. But so this one, the elk, which we already have enough to make. Uh, for this one, the biggest, the hardest thing that you need here is the hooves and the elk antlers. But as long as you go through and just keep taking out a bunch of deer, you'll eventually get those things. It's the easiest one to make. There's a mission for making for crafting the elk shapeshift rune and that's how i got the bear one so the bear one i haven't actually i don't think i've unlocked even yet have i oh i guess i have so for the bear the bear is a little bit different the bear you need bone meal you need claws which are pretty easy to get you pretty much get them from taking out bears and other things like that they have claws all right the magic essence like normal and then bear pelt same thing you just got to keep taking out as many bears as possible really simple all right so let's get this all closed up, make sure we're good to go here. I guess I sh should I throw more wood inside? No, we'll, I'll do wood after the episode. All right. So kind of looking at the area here just so you can kind of see where exactly we're at and how great this area is. Like I said, there's an outpost right there. Uh, which outpost is that? That is the northern or eastern? You know what? I kind of forget. We can look at the – let's look at the actual – uh, reviving altar here so if you look at the reviving altar which is in here somewhere all right so we are in a this early place right no this early place there we go the western outpost is kind of where we're at no, that's not right either hold on I, th I know it says we're here but I thought we were further up uh, you know I'm not 100% sure now I know this is where our old base was and we're right next to one of these outposts all right Let's go ahead and go out here. I guess we can just go up to the outpost and then we'll tell you from there. All right, let's run out here. Oh, man, you know what? Before we forget, we got to make sure we say thank you for all the support on the Dark and Light videos. It's been absolutely awesome. We're about to hit 900 subs. How cool is that? 900 subs. Just absolutely killing it. We really appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down there. It really helps us out. Definitely subscribe if you're new. And as always, leave a comment down below. I love talking back and forth with you guys. And you know what? You guys help me more than most of the in-game experience. You guys tell me what I'm doing wrong and you guys help me out with some simple stuff. You are at level 76. Okay. Quick, quick detour, guys. I'll do this super fast, I promise. Let's get these other taming arrows on the crossbow. It's not about to break. All right. Let's make sure our cobweb is ready to go. Oh, let's do this. Hey, come here, bud. We need a friend. There we go. 76 Longhorn. This guy will help out with some more gathering stuff. There we go. These guys are super, super easy to tame, but we'll tame another one up. Help us with some of that gathering. Uh, I was told they gather wood, too. I haven't tried that out yet. I know they gather grass and straw like crazy. There we go. Come on. And I know we already have one of these inside, but nothing wrong with having another one. Plus, it's got to be a little bit higher level. All right. Come on. Come right over here and get tired. Oh, are you tired already? There you go. Go to sleep, dude. Oh, he's going to go to sleep when he breaks these. Watch. There it is. There it is. Nice. Super easy. Of course, I don't have any of this stuff to build, build a trough yet. All right. Let's grab some stuff right here. I think I just need like 10 straw. 
I think some wood. Oh, that's not wood. Here's wood. Grab that. All right, how are we looking? Oh, no. Feed. We're missing. Oh, twine. Twine. Bam. There we go. All right, let's do this a little bit more and get some more apples because this guy will tame super fast on apples. Uh, we need to hit the actual tree. Is this the tree? No, right behind it. Right behind there. Yep. There we go. Once we start hitting the tree, we'll get apples for days. There we go. All right, let's get this little dude tamed up real quick. Or not little dude, but this big guy tamed up. And then we will go on a shape-shifting adventure real quick. All right, here we go. Like, oh, we didn't make it yet. Bam. Oh, what is this? Matured herbivore feed. Hmm. Let's go ahead and craft that. We'll put it in the uh, trough now and see how it does. All right, let's wait till we get a couple of them made up. All right, so there's three of them on there. Let's see if, how he does. Uh, he ate the apple and not the mature feed. Hmm. Highly demanded by Gorgon merchants. Okay, that's a thing. All right, let's go do some shape tipping. Let's let's clear this queue real quick. Clear that. All right, so the first one, first one's pretty simple. You guys have seen this in the if you guys watched our old Dark and Light series. So if we use this one here, this is the elk shape shift rune. We get to transform into an elk for a while. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So we use this thing real quick right here. Oh, did I just cancel it? We might have canceled it. Hold on. There we go. Are we having trouble here? I think it's, I think it's canceling out when I hit it. There we go. Oh, now I can't get out. There we go. Oh, we have no antlers. <laughs> we turned into a girl elk. Oh man. Okay. So that's a thing. All right. There's a cool screenshot. All right. Hopefully he gathers. Do you at least gather? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. That's not good. You don't. You really don't gather anything. No way. Hold on. Are we just really not gathering anything? I guess not. So, the only, I guess the only real purpose for this one is you can travel quite fast. Can you jump? Sort of. Wonder why we turned into a one without ha antlers. Why we had no antlers? <laughs> we need antlers. What's up, man? Uh, ooh, we better not. If we're a girl, one, we better stay away from that one. They might want to mate. All right, but there you go. So it travels pretty fast. So I guess if nothing else, you can get from place to place quite fast. So uh, let's not stop and fight those guys. All right. Oh, stamina goes down fast. All right, let's let that stamina get back up. But this is such a good area. Right next to the Kasha Forest, you can see this over here. There's also some swamp lands over in that area. Uh oh Sometimes when we go to the new area, it likes to freeze on us just a little bit. Oh. Those guys are sneaking. No, thank you. All right, come on, come on. Let's not go in there and get eaten by a kasha. That would be a bad thing. You can see we're kind of next to Skull Mountain over here. All right, so kind of cool. I mean, and it lasts for quite a while, so you can definitely traverse the map pretty quickly this way. So we'll definitely keep it just for that reason. Ooh, who's up here? I don't know if I've seen this one before. It's a huge base, man. This is uh, Defiance. Defiance, very cool. Yeah, you know, I think I have been up here before. Fairly cool, though. Fairly cool. All right. Where's back to base? Is it this way? Let's see if we take fall damage. That was the other thing I want to check. Uh, yep. We definitely take fall damage. Ow. All right. Let's keep going this way. Hopefully, we can find a way back. Hopefully, I don't get lost out here. I think we're going to be okay. We'll go over here, and then we'll turn into the bear. See if we can actually wreck a little bit of face with the bear. Okay. This map is so easy to get lost on. It, The verticality on this map is actu actually kind of crazy. Hmm. All right. We may or may not be just a little bit lost. Just a little lost. Uh, let's see. Are we close to... We might be getting close to... You know what? I don't even want to take a guess. Let's just keep going this way. Hopefully we'll find our spot here in a second. We might be on the complete wrong side. That happens a lot. Uh oh. That's not good. What's going on down here? 
Oh, we're not going down there. That's Bufo land. So there you go. There's like the Bufo swamp area. Absolutely horrible, horrible area in place. We don't want to go down there for any reasons. Alright, but I feel like... Yeah, I just feel like I'm lost. Hmm. Let's keep going this way. Stay away from any Bufo. As soon as I see Bufo, we're just running for days. I think we're going towards like the Gorgon campsite. So let's not do that. Let's Let's go back the other way. Just avoiding Bufos is definitely primary concern as usual. This map, though, you can just see this map is all about like just verticality, and it's oh, we're glitching just a little bit, and it's just huge. There's our old base area. You can see the ruins. So we're, our our old base is right below that. We will go back and demolish that pretty soon. Uh, right now, we're not worried about it. I feel like we're like close, but just can't quite tell. We still have to learn our way around this map. It's just so hard to tell. Still got 355 seconds of this transformation. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep running this way, see if we can find our spot. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Oh, yeah. We were so close. We were literally this far from base. Here's base. <laughs> we were so close right around the corner. All right. He's taming right up. Awesome. Doing good there. Like I said, we don't really uh, get anything out of this guy right here. All right. Let's try. Let's, so hold E to revert to form. All right. There we go. Shrink back to our buddy here. There we go. Very cool. All right. Now, let's go ahead and turn into the next one. Let's turn into a bear. So let's get our view here. All right. Here we go. Bear shape-shifting ruin. There we go. That one worked. That one worked. We're a bear. <laughs> I'm a bear. You're a bear. We're all bears. All right. Let's right. This guy better at least do some damage. Come on now. 63 bears do way more than that okay can we at least gather oh we can okay so we can at least gather with this guy so I guess in a, in a pinch this wouldn't be too bad he's de decent fast he's not anything super impressive or anything let's see what do we got over here anything I can take out there we go oh there's a goblin I love where these goblins we're always on the lookout for more goblins if they're a decent level we might tame them there's that guy there's a bunch of them. They're not willing to fight us. That's kind of cool. See, they're afraid of bears. They're smart. Bears are bad. All right. Very, very cool. Yeah, de decently fast. Like I said, 61 damage is not where it's at. Let's try, let's try the right click on something. Let's go do the bear slap. Of course, now that we're looking for something to slap, we're not going to find anything. The stamina on this guy is way better. Here we go. Bear slap. Bam. There we go, 127. Okay. Okay. We're not upset now. That's pretty good. All right. We can definitely mess with this. This is doable. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and gather some more stuff. Ooh, a 64 deer. There we go. Get him, get him, get him before he runs. There you go. Get all the hide, all the bones. Very, very nice. All right. Just remember when we go back, hug the wall. Hug the wall. Stay close to the wall. All right. Go around this corner here. What is that? Is that a bed? Oh, it's a bed. Scorched monkey's bed. All right. Go up around this area here. I think this is where we just came through with a deer. We'll go through and slap some people, though. Oh, pigling. Let's go eat a pigling. All right. Get him. Attack. Bam. Like I said, that's definitely not bad. I wonder if we have to worry about... It doesn't look like we have to worry about weight really at all. In fact, you see there's no weight down there on the side. All right. So the stats don't look like they... They just look different. What are we missing here? So weight it says 0 out of 740. So you can pretty much gather all the way up to the last second, but then once you revert to human, you're going to have to worry about your weight just a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's eat us some overseers. Here we go. Get him, get him, get him. All right, cool. I'm going to keep heading this way as our throat gets a little scratchy here. I'll have to go fix that. There we go. We got raw meat for days. If I can hit this guy. Oh. What's going on there? There we go. There we go. Bam. 
All right, so we have to be a little more careful in the Kasha Forest area over here, but I want to go check out this base. Look at this. This is kind of what we're planning too, like a castle looking build. This place is awesome. Let's see whose base this is. Oh, and there's wolves too. Actually, I need some wolf pelt. That will actually help. Okay, let me through the water. The water is not our friend right now. Oh, what is this? A 52 bear. Oh, I would love a 52 bear. He would be our friend and we would love him. All right, there we go. Eat everybody. All right, bear versus bear. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're okay. You see that mouse was shaking. We were going crazy there. Look at this base. Look at this. Oh my god, what a great idea. Alright, whoever you are, I will be stealing that idea for my castle tops. Look at that. The turnover door as like the top of the castle. Look at that farm is looking good. So this is House of Meridian. Nice build House of Meridian. Very cool looking. Alright. 205 Boris. That is a huge bear. Very nice. Alright, cool. Let's keep uh, eating some of these guys. I'm going to head back to uh, base here in a minute before our transformation wears off. Okay, we accidentally shape-shifted back. Uh, but the bear is actually really, really good. Uh, I would say the best thing is the stamina. The stamina is absolutely amazing. Hopefully this music is not too loud. Let me kind of check my levels. Hopefully it's not overpowering everything. It's really loud in my headphones. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pan it up. We're going to pan our way back and uh, get back to base and do some more things over there. But man, very, very cool. The bear is definitely worth it. Oh man, there we go. Finally back. That was a long trip. Uh, we actually got a little further away with the bear than we thought. Plus, we just keep getting turned around in these little valleys over here. Oh, he's getting close to tamed up. Very nice. Cruising right along. Let's kind of go look at how much stuff we gathered right there. Just from that little bit of venture out with the bear. Really helps out. I'm telling you, that is a huge thing. Go down here. I think we got hides over here. So hide, look at that. 1603 plus 311 plus 336 really nice we got some of the leaf crest coins too so just all in all not a bad little venture out i'm liking it very cool all right so that's kind of what we got going on let's make sure we throw a little bit of this stuff over here a little bit of wood and let's get all of our meat cooked up we need to get that going again all right like that that there we go light fire and oh light fire and craft get like a thousand up and going there we go all right so not a, not a bad little venture guys I, I'm, I'm liking it a lot i think the uh the bear shape shape shifting rune is definitely worth it the owl not so much the elk uh, was kind of weird i kind of expected us to be able to do a little something more with it uh, we are definitely going to use these soon all right let's throw that over there all right i'm pretty happy with that i'll do a little bit of inventory management in between episodes but let me let me at least wait for this guy to wake up we'll end the episode with a little bit of a tame in action here and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, we're going to do a little bit of questing while we're waiting on that guy to get up. He's taking too long, and we're really impatient. So I need some quartz sand and some uncommon stone. Let's see. Do we got the uncommon stone? Bam. We're going to make us some quartz glass over here. So here we go. That one and that one. Now we can make that. Light fire and let's craft. I don't need 100 of it, but we're going to make a bunch anyway. Now, do I, do I have to be in the inventory to get credit? Looks like we do. Okay, so stay inside the inventory to get credit. All right, there we go. We're still not getting... Hmm. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Maybe we just have to gather it. There we go. All right, craft summoning stone, the elite scarab. Ooh, an elite scarab. That sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. See, I think I saw that in the inventory. So for that one, I need... 25 of the Empire Coins, 25 Quartz Glass. So that's not something we're going to work on just yet. Uh, but that's another quest line we can get through. All right. So that's... We got Kill the Overseer and Craft the Elite Scarab, which we'll get into later. All right. I guess we could get into these ones. Let's do this. All right. Harvest Uncommon Grass and Harvest Twine. We can do that really fast. All right. We'll go right over here. We'll get all this in like two seconds. All right, like uh, so. Get our awesome little scythe out. Right. Oh, did we not get it? Hold on. There we go. And a little bit of twine. There we go. Craft aroma oil. So this is actually used in quite a few things. What are we crafted at, though? Um, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe in the mortar pestle? Uh, but this, this is used in quite a few of the different recipes. So we'll definitely check this out craft aroma oil we'll go inside here 
I'm thinking the grindstone, maybe? Yep, there we go. All right, so we'll take our the crazy grass and the twine. Oh, no. It's not even, the, not even close. Rare flower, and we need these regent bottles. Regent bottle is done over here on the forge. Pretty much you need quartz glass. So we'll put our quartz glass back. Light the fire. There we go. Longhorn's up. Nice. We'll go out there and check him out in a minute. Let's get some of this. I just want to knock out this quest real quick, and then we'll come back to that. All right. Let's craft a few of those. And then we'll grab all these. Oh, our guy's out there running around. Three. And there we go. There's five of them. That'll work for now. All right. We'll come back over here. We'll throw these glasses on here. And then, bam, now we got aroma oil of times five. All right. And like I said, this, use, this is used in a few different kind of cooking things. So we'll definitely use it a little bit. All right. Four and five. All right. And then craft matured herbivore feed, which we've done before. All right. Matured herbivore feed. I need the uncommon grass and the twine. I think we put that over here. The twine and the uncommon grass. And we go herb. We just need, oh, we need five. Okay. Three, four, five. All right. Let's go check out our new longhorn buddy. In fact, can we make a saddle for the longhorn yet? I'm pretty sure we can because I've made one before. Uh, for that one, I just need a little bit of hide and stone. Too easy. Too easy. All right, we'll go hide. A little bit of stone. Uh, there we go. And now we go longhorn. Bam, longhorn saddle. Perfect. All right. Uh, craft the stone of incarnation incar Gorgon. <gasps> Gorgon? Ooh, it's going to be about to be Gorgon time. All right, where's our longhorn? I hear you running around, man. Oh, there he is. He's over on the side of base. I know it's all rainy. We try not to record too much when it's raining, but it can't always help it. Okay. Oh, don't be stuck. I am not deleting our, our floor to get you out. Okay, come on. There we go. Get out of there. There we go, guys. There's our new Longhorn, buddy. 113, level 113. This guy's pretty awesome. Check this out. All right, get that saddle going. And then you can see how much stuff this guy gathers absolutely awesome there you go straw for days and this is what uh down in the comments we were told to get a long time ago to help us with all the gathering they were definitely right 826 there's some wood let's get all the wood definitely not too bad definitely not bad this guy's such a good level all right cool let's go park him in the house there you go i think that's gonna do it though guys i think we're gonna do the uh work on the gorgon stuff in the next episode uh, which I don't even know where we make that at, but we'll do the try to get the Stone of Incarnation for the Gorgon made up. Uh, we haven't done that transformation yet, so I'm excited for that. All right, let's park our buddy in here. We were also told if you have a Bufo, be careful because they will eat you. <laughs> like if you're out there fighting people, they will accidentally grab onto you. It's kind of funny. All right, guys. So I know we don't like ending the episode in the rain like this, but if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. I had a lot of fun. I re I'm really, really having a lot of fun with this playthrough. Uh, the views have been absolutely awesome, and our subs have been going up like crazy. I really, really appreciate it. All right, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of Dark and Light, Shard of Faith. Thanks, guys.